30-year-old design, the General Dynamics F-111F, nicknamed the Aardvark, was arguably the most successful Allied bomber of the war. Its speed, range, and all-weather ability made it one of the coalition's key attack aircraft. The F-111F went everywhere, including parts of Baghdad excluded to all other aircraft except the F-117. It attacked bridges, airfields, tanks, artillery, pumping stations, communications facilities, and anything else that would hold still long enough to have a bomb put on it. Based at Taif in the southwest of Saudi Arabia, the initial deployment to the Gulf saw 32 F-111Fs arriving in two waves in August of 1990. Aardvark's strength later climbed to 66 aircraft. They formed the 48th Tactical Fighter Wing, provisional. In 2,500 sorties, the 66 Aardvark sent to the Gulf destroyed at least 1,500 tanks, 252 artillery pieces, 245 hardened aircraft shelters, 13 runways, and 12 bridges, with another 52 spans seriously damaged. The 48th Tactical Fighter Wing dropped more than 3,600 tons of bombs, including 4,660, nearly 60% of the 8,000 precision-guided munitions delivered by the U.S. Air Force. The F-111 is a large warplane weighing up to 45 tons fully loaded. It is a two-seat machine, and like the A6 Intruder, the crew sits side by side. Instead of ejection seats, they sit in an escape capsule. It was the first operational warplane to be fitted with variable geometry, or swing wings. For best efficiency at low speeds and for landing or takeoff, the wing is at its minimum sweep back of 16 degrees. The wings move back at higher speeds, reaching a maximum sweep of 72 and a half degrees near and beyond the speed of sound. The F-111F carries an enormous war load, up to 14 tons of ordnance. During the Gulf War, its typical war load was up to four laser-guided bombs. 225 kilogram GBU-12s were used with great success against Iraqi tanks and artillery. 900 kilogram GBU-10s and GBU-24 laser-guided bombs were dropped against larger targets, such as bunkers and hardened aircraft shelters. Two special weapons were employed exclusively by F-111s. The GBU-15V is a 900-kilogram standoff glide bomb guided either by infrared or electro-optical sensors. On 25th of January, Iraq began to pump crude oil into the sea from terminals off the Kuwaiti coast. Three days later, three F-111Fs dropped GBU-15s against the two pumping stations involved. Both were hit, and the ecological warfare ceased.